identity or unit matrix. You will find this on page 565 in the Namibia Ordinary Level Mathematics textbook Y equals MX plus C to success. Identity or unit matrix. It's a square. That means it's having the same number of rows as columns. It has ones on the diagonal and zeros everywhere else. Can you see? It's a two by two, three by three. And on the diagonal you see one. Start with one there and the diagonal one. One, one, one. And the rest is all zeros. Its symbol is the capital letter I. The identity matrix is the matrix equivalent of the number 1. It is a special matrix because when we multiply a matrix by the identity matrix, the matrix stays the same. It's almost, can you remember, if you multiply, say, 5 by 1, it stays 5. Now this is the same. If you take the matrix and you multiply it by the unit matrix, it stays A. If you take uh, the unit matrix, you multiply it by the matrix A, it still stays A. Okay, so this is the only time when you can say that AI will be equal to IA because it's staying the same. But let's look at an example. If A is this and the identity matrix is this, find A, I. So basically, I just do exactly the same. I take a row and I multiply it by a column. So 2 times 1 is 2 and 3 times 0 is 0. So 2 plus 0, it stays 2. Multiply with this column. 2 times 0, that's 0. 3 times 1 is 3 and it's 3. Then I take the next one this one by this one. So 1 times 1, that's 1. 4 times 0 is 0. So 1 plus 0, that's 1. Then this one, 1, okay, multiply by this column. So 1 times 0, that's 0. 4 times 1, it's 4 and 4. Do you notice that it's exactly the same as A? Let's just clean it that you can see it better, okay? So basically, this will be exactly the same. The same if I do it with this one. If I take a row by a column, so 1 times 2 is 2 plus 0, so it stays 2. Um, by this one, 1 times 3 is 3 plus 0, it stays 3. And then this row by this column, 0 plus 1, 0 and 4. And again, do you see it's exactly the same? I'm just going to clean it again. Exactly the same. So it's not changing. It's like multiplying by 1. Okay, uh, stop the video and do try now 9, number B and C. You can continue the video as soon as you are finished. Just move it up a little bit. So it's B and C. Okay, let's start. Number B. So first, let's write what was um, B. B will be uh, 2 and 5. And negative 1 and 9. So if I have B, and don't forget that I... It's going to be 1, 1, and the rest is zeros. Okay, so if I have bi, it's going to be 2 and 5, negative 1 and 9. 1 and 0, 0 and 1. So let's start multiplying. Remember, always a row by a column. So if I do that, I'm going to say 2 times 1 is 2, and that's 0, so it's just 2. Now, by the second column. So that's 0 and that's negative 1. Okay, and then a row by a column. So that's 5 plus 0, so it's just 5. And then by this column, so it's 0 because 5 times 0 and 9, so the answer is 9.
Can you see it's exactly the same? It's like multiplying by one. And then the final one, um, number C. Okay, now it's just the opposite. So now it's I, B. So what's I? So it's one, zero, zero, one by B, two, five, negative one, nine. So if I multiply, again, do the same, a row by a column. So one times two is two plus zero, so it's two. And then do the same here, row by a column. So this is negative one and that is nine. And then it's a row by a column. So that's zero and that's five. And then again the second row by this column. So this is zero, can you see, plus nine. And again it's exactly. So in this case, we can go, therefore, we can say that B, I, will be equal to I, B. But only when one of them, one of the matrices, is the unit matrix.